key moments. Welcome to Key Moments. This is gameplay breakdown of Paragon. I am playing some Revenant, starting off in the dual lane, five minutes in, facing off against Steel with my phase. We're doing some work, got him rooted. And you guys see, I'm going to position myself to cut him off here. Then I hit him with the old Matador step. And then we get the kill. So I positioned myself right there in case he went around. I could drop down, uh, down by that gold buff to cut him off. And then I just kind of stayed in front of him, kind of waiting for that charge. Uh, and he fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Seven minutes, 30 seconds, he uh, comes in with the alt. Now, phase with a fantastic pull. The reason I, I was able to live from that is only because the Grux did a smash and grab while I was in the air or either before. I don't know how he managed to miss that, but I did not get chain stunned and uh, had my life saved as a result. Thank you, FaZe. 11 minutes. Carmera working on this uh, Revenant enemy team. I pulled him into the Nether Realm, and then I'm going to hit him with Obliterate that he's, as he rotates back towards our Tier 1. You see our phase there. He's able to cut him off and then get the kill. I felt really good about that. Uh, she played an excellent position. A little bit later, about a minute later, uh, phase is in trouble. I was going to pursue. I was like, I, I'm going to push up, and then I was like, no, 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 that's a bad decision. And uh, you guys see I'm going to take some damage as a result. Their phase tried to root me. And then smash and grab from their uh, uh, Grux. I focus on their Revenant. And then I'm so glad that the Chimera focused on this phase. We were able to take her out as well. Uh, we got two for one here. So as soon as my teammates came over for the rotation, I dropped down from my safe spot underneath tower and uh, was able to get that kill. All right, so I take down this tier one. Now this is important, guys. Really pay attention to this because I'm going to use Reckoning right here because I know that Steel positioned himself behind me and I did not want to uh, take damage from him because I would have been in a bad situation and obviously they have more people rotating over. So if that Steel gets up a charge or something like that, I could have potentially died there instead of getting the kill and being able to walk under my tower to safety. All right, 19 minutes and I'm focusing on phase. Revenant is an excellent, excellent, excellent counter pick to phase when you see her in the game you guys see was able to get the reckoning off got her into the nether realm isolated her blew her up and uh separated her from her team and then like i said before in some previous videos once you take out phase the other team has nothing really, right like if they're playing uh in an aggressive manner they can't do so anymore without phase there to to really save them so uh i felt pretty good about that we start some work there on that grux you guys see our fang mal goes in cleans that up for us and then we start working on their steel chimera harassing them with ambush and unfortunately he gets the safety or so he thought feng mal following up it's a great pull from our face get me out of that black hole super surprised that uh their phase was able to get out. If I had activated Obliterate maybe a second sooner, as soon as I saw her right in front of me, I would have got that kill. And at this point, they got two for two, so we had to rotate back, and that ended that little skirmish. Now, we're going for mid lane again. Look at who we're focusing. Ambush on the phase, and I take her to the nether realm and obliterate her. Focus the phase, and then it opens up the seas for you to conquer them. It's great, guys. Now, we have a Grux split pushing down there. Our Bellica is going to split off, and we're going to take down this uh, Tier 2 while our Bellica goes and prevents Grux from taking our Inhib. And we're going to keep going for more. We're on the, the Inhib at this point, able to blow up their Revenant, which was, you know, great for us because it allowed us to, to continue to damage this thing. So I'm very glad that Chimera decided to pursue that, and Revenant didn't run away. So we were able to take down this inhibitor as a result. You see Steel staying in here to fight us. It's a bad decision. So was FaZe. And I obliterate her. She goes down. Grux tries to finish it off. Now, this is the same deck build that I shared with you guys in the past. I'll have that link down in the description to that video going over that in depth. It's also at the end of this video annotated so you guys can check out in-depth guide instructions on this deck build that I'm using. All right, so I saw this Revenant and we're kind of playing peekaboo here with uh, Obliterate. I end up uh, tapping him 
a bit more than he was able to tap me. I'm also ahead. So I was able to uh, kill him there. And then I pulled this uh, Gideon into the nether realm and was able to take him out for the double kill. Now the reason I showed this is partly because I wanted to show, show you guys how badly our lanes were pushed up. So we were able to take Orb Prime, but before we were able to push with Prime, we set our lanes, which is very important. So we set our lanes, got them pushing in our favor. So then we have to worry about them while we do this onslaught. So this is the last major push of the game. Take out Gideon as he tries to uh, come in with the black hole. Then I focus on phase. Got pulled into the nether realm and I'm at a disadvantage, but lifesteal coming into effect. And I was able to get the triple kill from that last major team fight. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe so you guys don't miss any more of my Paragon key moments, deck builds, all that stuff. Again, this uh, uh, Revenant build, I went 14 kills, zero deaths, six assists. And the video covering this Revenant deck build is down in the description. It's also annotated at the end of this video. And until the next time, folks, I will catch you all later. Stay frosty.